Hey guys, Dr. Christy Ennis, physical therapist, certified strength and conditioning specialist and nutritionist. And today we are going to go over exercises to get rid of back fat and bra bulge. Woo! I have been having a lot of requests for this, both from you guys on YouTube and from patients and clients in my studio. And actually, if you are not subscribed already, please take this chance to do so so that you'll never get to miss another video, yay! Um, but there's a lot of talk about this right now. So the very first thing you need to know before we get into these exercises is that you cannot, I am saying not, spot reduce, okay? What tends to happen though for these areas is that people haven't worked on toning them and you can work on toning them as well as decreasing overall fat. Yeah, I hate to say it, but it's true. This is where the diet comes in. Uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff out there on diets. I have a bunch of videos on diets. Sugar's a big thing. Calories, obviously. That's not for this video. That's for another one. But please keep that in mind. The other thing I see with all the back stuff is that people tend to have poor posture. And when they have poor posture, A, it makes all this yuck look even worse, but B, you're not working those areas to make them look a little more svelte. I think that's the word I want. Um, so that's what we're gonna focus on today, are these muscles in the back that don't get used from sitting and all the yucky stuff that we have to do during the day. So remember, you can't spot reduce, but you can tone, and you can get those postural mu muscles working better so that all this stuff looks better. Okay, so number one, and the only thing you need for this today is a mat, and if you want to use some uh, light dumbbells, you can too. So I'm going to go right onto my stomach, carefully, squeezing into the shoulder blades and squeezing my butt, squeeze my legs together, bring those elbows down, lift those legs up. So I am working here all the way down. So we're getting both of those areas at once. Go ahead and shoot for 10 to 15 reps of each of these exercises as you do them. I'm going to grab my weight. For this next one, you may need to start out in a hands and knees position, and that's okay. What we're doing is going into a plank or a modified plank. I'm going to go in a plank with a wide leg here, and then you're adding in a row without rotating that body. That's important. So now we're using all of this <laughs> and this. If that's too much to start, Go right down on those knees. Don't lift your butt up, though. Keep your butt tucked, and same idea, okay? Make sure you hit both sides. Even if you only have an issue on one side, do make sure you get both sides. All right, number next. I'm going down onto my back. We're going to get a bridge with arms are coming over head, okay? So we're stabilizing in here and then using these lat muscles, right? That's really where the bra stuff comes into play. And guys, you have these muscles too <laughs> and the same issues. So notice I'm only raising my arms up as high as I can without lifting my rib cage. That's important too, okay? So you're going to feel a nice stretch when you do this one also. I am going to try not to break my floor, and I'm going to lie right on my side. And here we're going to work all of this on the side that's up. So it's going to be a lift and a push. Notice I'm, I feel like I'm modeling here. I'm going to change my position. I'm going to put my arm out. I am going to push a tiny bit with this bottom arm, but not a lot. So I'm lifting up from both ends and then squeezing in through here as I come up. Okay, again, both sides. Flipping on over onto hands and knees to really get in through here. We're going to do that little bird dog and add a crunch to get some abs too. So you're going to straighten out arm, opposite arm and leg without rotating your hips. And then think about squeeze that knee towards that elbow. Because we're coming opposite, we're using a little bit more oblique as we're trying to rotate in a little. Not rotate our hips, but rotate in through that arm and knee. Okay, one more to go. And I'm going to stand up for this last one. If you need to for balance, by all means, please hold on to something. You're going to go into a single leg deadlift. Give me a reverse fly where you're really squeezing back into here. And then squeeze into that shoulder blade. Bring that out to a Y. Notice I'm not just hiking my shoulder or I'm not using those postural muscles anymore. So now I'm using really the whole darn back side of the body. So it's down, little reverse fly, little Y. 
Again, 10 on each side is the goal. So that really targets those, all of those areas that tend to be a little bit maybe hanging over, we'll say. <laughs> and it happens. But again, these are great exercises to do to work on all of that. Don't forget the diet and stay tuned for more. Thanks, guys.